Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or you can call me Chris and today we have some good stuff for you I think. Of course we have good stuff for you every day. We're going to be using the soap. This is Murphy and McNeil Trinity and I'll talk a little bit more about that mark uh, air bubble as we go. The scent on Trinity is Creed Aventus. So look up the notes for that. It is a excellent cologne. This is Creed Aventus inspired I should say. Murphy and McNeil scent strength on this right at medium, maybe a slight a bit, slight bit above medium, 5.5, let's say. Cost on this $19.99 for five ounces. We'll put the chart up there. That is $3.99 an ounce, which is a very fair price. And it's even more fair considering that Murphy and McNeil has free shipping within the US. So that really factors into the cost, and it would actually be uh, less than $3.99 for an ounce. It, per ounce if you, you counted shipping. I think that's a wonderful um, thing to do, free shipping. Hardly anyone does that in the US. Oh, great scent. I love Creative Ventus, as you know. It's one of my favorite scents. Uh, we used Gale Locke, I think, was the other stuff we used from Murphy and McNeil. We liked it. We loved their customer service. I'll talk about that a little bit. We're gonna be using a new brush today, and that is the AP Shave Co. Now, this is actually called the Summer uh, handle with a Sinbad knot. I'm calling it the Hulk brush because, <laughs> because it is green and you see that purple there. I'll put a, a picture uh, right there so you can see the, the bottom half. Sort of a translucent purple and it kind of reminds me of the Hulk because that's Hulk colors. I think actually Chad from CD uh, Shaving Murphy called it the Hulk brush. I think he did it first so I'm calling it the Hulk like the Incredible Hulk brush because it's Hulk colors. As you can see, here is the winter with the cashmere knot, and here is the, what's called the summer, but I'm calling it the Hulk. Let's just put it that way. Again, this is 21 bucks, very inexpensive, 30 millimeter knot, and we're gonna see how it compares to this one, which I love. This is probably my favorite brush right now. I just love it. So we have some soap in the bowl, but before we get to that, we gotta use a razor, don't we? We're using today the Yaki. This is their aggressive slant razor. This is just a razor rock handle on there, but look at that blade there. It is a really significantly twisted head. I'll show you a little picture right there. And there's a good bit of blade, and this is a, a, an aggressive razor. So let's get started loading. And when while we're loading, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Murphy and McNeil, uh, the soap I'm loading. By the way, Captain's Choice Copper bowl, which I absolutely love. It is fantastic. If you drop it, it might dent it, but it's not gonna break it. And I find that it's a good size. I just love it. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> loading here. Um, so I showed you in the beginning of the video that little air bubble there. And I, I had mentioned that in my last video. <clears throat> and without me reaching out, Murphy and McNeil just sent new labels. They're not here yet but they sent new labels. And to me, that said a lot. And I did a video just because of that. Murphy, it called Murphy, It's I think it's called Murphy and McNeil goes above and beyond because that is, that's an artisan who is watching their product menus, watching who's saying what about their product and caring about their way their product looks. And it was just tremendous customer service. I didn't ask for it. They just did it. And that always means something to me. And in fact, that's one of the things that separates artisans from each other is some artisans have great soap, but let's face it, most of the artisans, if they've been around a while now, have great soap. The thing that sets them apart is customer service and value to me. Because honestly, you can get a great shave with a $2.99 Razor Rock uh, Amici. You really can. But when you get value and you get great customer service and you have also a quality product, that sets you apart from everyone else. And so Murphy and McNeil, as far as I'm concerned, <clears throat> you know, is a standout in that area from what, from what they did. Just like, hey, we care about our product. Some people, honestly, I've had things arrive to me banged up and they don't care. Or they're not watching uh, either way. Now, I will say a lot of artisans, if you were to reach out to them, they would fix it. Um, but Murphy and McNeil going above and beyond, that just means something to me. You know, I care. I care about the way things look. I'm trying to honor their products. I'm not trying to sell them because it doesn't do anything for me. 
but I do want to give an accurate representation of how the product looks and how they want it to look. So I don't want to have, you know, banged up stuff. By the way, <clears throat> I'm using Razor Rock Pre-Shave and I keep it on this PAA, it's, uh, it's like their cube thing that you set it on. And I will be using the PAA cube, but I'm trying to burn through this one first. <clears throat> and these things last forever, these pre-shaves. And I, I've tried I'm trying to use it more just so I can go and burn through it. But it is stingy, these pre-shaves. What a terrific value though. If you want pre-shaves, you get these these cubes and you know, they're usually between $4.99 and six bucks, let's say. And uh, man, oh man. Do they really last a long time? And what do they do for me? Maybe they add a little bit of slickness. You know, maybe they just boost your lather a little bit. You can read the claims of, you know, each artisan who, who offers them and, you know, just kind of use them yourself and then figure it out. So I'm just gonna lather over this today. I have been sort of working it in, but I'm gonna add some more water, fair amount of water, and then we're just gonna lather over that today and see how it goes. Okay. First time using the Sinbad Knot. Uh, the only thing I don't like about holding up pre-shaves in my hand is it makes it so slick. One thing about it, these pre-shaves are slick. Yes, and I'm liking this knot. I must say, AP Shave Co. Etsy vendor, by the way. You can go to their website, AP Shave Co. or um, Etsy and look at their wares. Wow, what a knot. Really soft splays really easily. Very nice, and look at how that soap just comes off the brush quite easily. It's not holding on to it like a lot of natural hair brushes can do if you're not uh, accustomed to them. Wow, we that is really fast. To... These knots are terrific. Thirty millimeter again, twenty one bucks. I mean, it's insane. You can buy like <laughs> ten of these brushes for one of those. Uh, in my view, just in my opinion, overpriced Badger brushes. And in fact, I think AP Shave Co., they sent me a message on Instagram and wanted to know if I would uh, give away one of their Jealousy Badger Knots. And I should said, sure, for the viewers, you know, I give away anything. I said, I don't really like Badger Knots, but I'm happy to show it and give it away. You know, that's cool for the viewers. So that's a win for everybody involved. Okay. Let me dip this brush shut. I'm just experimenting a little bit today with the adding slightly more water, just for the heck of it. But boy, does that soap smell great. I love that knot too, the Sinbad 30 millimeter. I'm real happy with these AP Shave Co. knots and brushes for the price. Really stellar, I think. Okay, so let's get going with our Yaki. This is a very aggressive slant razor and we'll see how we do Astra SP is the blade, and that feels very nice. Riding on that uh, Murphy and McNeil Trinity, smells great, providing very good slickness. And I got a little more water in this lather than normal. As you can see it running down my face. And also when you rinse your razor a lot, keep in mind, it's holding some water in there and dripping it as you go. That soap is plenty slick enough Good residual slickness, I'm digging that. All right, what are we gonna talk about today? I had a couple of things prepared. For one, I wanna thank our newest Patreon supporters, Vincent Ragland and Leonard Levy, or Levy, I think it's Levy. Thank you very much, I really appreciate you helping out the channel and supporting it, it means a lot, it really does. Thank you, both you gents. And uh, <clears throat> thanks to everybody watching. Did you all see the blindfolded shave? 100% blindfolded from blade lo loading all the way to the end. I've seen blind DE shaves before, like Geo Fat Boy did one, but he didn't do it from start to finish, like put the blade in the razor all the way through aftershave. It was important me to me to try to do it a little bit differently than I've seen it. And I've challenged Kevy and Josh from, uh, Kevy from, of course, Kevy Shaves and Josh from Shooting the Shave. And they have both accepted, so that's gonna be fun to watch those guys when they get around to it. And by the way, folks, don't feel pressured to do these uh, challenge videos right away. Do them when time permits, you know, don't, do not feel pressure to do it right away. And I'm sure these challenges will be 
If you haven't been challenged in the first round, I'm sure it will come around. So I honestly, it wasn't as difficult as what I thought. The main thing for me was two things. One, not knocking things over. And I did knock my aftershave into the sink full of water, but the cap was on and it's waterproof label. So no problem there. Two, I wandered off the frame, you know, cause I couldn't see anything. So I didn't know where it was at. And I didn't actually know I was wandering off, you know, you're blindfolded, you don't know where you are. So um, other than that, it wasn't that bad. Putting the blade in, some people saw that, it, you know, it was kind of sideways and they were cringing. <laughs> but honestly, it wasn't bad. The shaving part, and you'll notice the lathering part, it looked just like the same kind of lather, lather I always make. And what does that tell you? It's muscle memory. You know, you just do things the same way all the time when they work. And so, by the way, this razor, if you're lo looking for smooth as silk, you're not gonna find it because there's a lot of blade feel on this razor. It's very efficient, but you're going to feel some blade on your face, so keep that in mind. This is an aggressive razor. It is very inexpensive. It's like usually five or six bucks maybe for the head. Um, so it is not expensive at all. Uh, wanna mention Saturday, this coming Saturday, which I believe is, I wrote it down, 18th of April. Lancaster towels will be up for sale. So you can go check that out. Uh, noon, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time, I believe. Go to uh, Lancaster Razor Works on Etsy. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook and he will, uh, you know, make some announcements there. I saw the announcement yesterday, this coming Saturday, the 18th at uh, 12 p.m. Also, if you're interested, the Talbot Shaving Tangerine, the collaboration with Mall Grooming, uh, went on sale on Monday at 10 a.m. I don't know how many they have left. Uh, it, they are at West Coast Shaving. Go check that out. I ordered it because I definitely want that. And I've heard a lot of people talking about mall shaving, aftershaves, so I picked it up and we'll see, you know. I've heard a lot of praise. Um, I tend to like alcohol in my aftershave, so I don't know how I feel about it, but you know, we'll give it a go. I mean, you try everything and see how it goes. This soap is quite good. I really like the scent. I really like the performance. Absolutely nothing wrong with, with uh, this soap, it's doing well. Again, this razor is not the smoothest razor. You feel a lot of blade on your face, so don't think it's gonna feel like a, a, a Merker 34C, it is not that. It's not terribly rough, but you can feel some blade for certain. It's one of the more aggressive slants. It might be the most aggressive slant I've ever used, I don't know, but it's definitely, it brings it, so light touch is required for this slant. Just keep that in mind. Really good. Really good slickness on this soap, I gotta say. Very, very nice. Uh, I wanna also mention today uh, some nice people that I have been interacting with. Um, and I've mentioned them before, but I was talking to Diamond Dave Card on Monday. His channel's uh, Dave Card. And we were talking about the straight razors, and then we got on the, a little bit to World War II, and because he was talking about a razor that was from that era. And it was really a nice conversation. He's just a nice guy, Dave Carr. Diamond Dave, is, he is now known to all. And I mentioned the other day during the live shaves that uh, they should start a group, a band, Diamond Dave and the Swedish Three. With the Swedish Three being Johan from Shave and Butcher, or Johan, depending on how you want to say it. Johan shave and butcher frank from wet shaving and stuff and maddie lindholm just uh, his channel the name of his channel is just maddie lindholm so it would be uh, diamond dave and the swedish three and that would be pretty awesome all three of those guys have channels that i watch and like uh, i really like to go back and forth with johan because he's got a great sense of humor and uh maddie lindholm i think is just a super Super positive, super nice guy. Very proficient uh, straight razor shaving. Shaver, I should say, as everybody knows. Let me get some more of this soap in my brush here. Um, very proficient. And Frank from Wet Shaving and Stuff also 
makes uh, straight razor shaving look easy. He makes it look so easy that I'm tempted to do, you know, you know me. I'm not crazy about shavettes in particular. I'll use them from time to time. And the reason I've stayed away from straight razor shaving, I was telling Dave Card this morning that just, if I fell into it the way I'm into DE shaving, I just couldn't afford it. You know, just, you would want all those custom razors and, and weight and butchers and stuff, but watching those guys makes me want to use a straight every now and then, like, so maybe at some point I'll get one and a strop, you know, just to use uh, a little bit. Um, because I've, I've used a couple of, uh, Shavette style razors lately and I kind of enjoyed it, but I don't want to, I don't want to go the, down the rabbit hole of whole hog, you know, full on straight rate, needing every straight razor and stuff, because that's just, you know, I don't want to do that, but maybe at some point I'll pick up a, a decent straight and a, probably a paddle strop because there's less, uh, Paddle strop is, you know, completely flat and it doesn't bow when you put it on there. So, you know, for, for a novice, probably a little easier to use. Also watch guys like a uh, guy from the Shaving Chronicles using his, he's very proficient with straights as well. And so, you know, I was watching those guys and just thinking, let's add some more water just for heck of it. Um, just enjoying watching those guys. And they make it look easy. I don't think it's easy as, you know, based on, I was showing Dave like six years ago today, I had a, sh a shave of the day. I'll put it up there of a gold dollar. That's a stallion gold dollar shave I did that day. Six years ago today. So we've been at it for a while. And yes, I have used straights. And honestly, after I used that gold dollar, it was really smooth. I immediately, see, look at the, some people like to, to do that. I immediately uh, went and bought a Ralph Alst and a, uh, <laughs> and a Dovo Perlex. And I was like, I'm out of control. And so I sold them. You know, I was like, I got to quit. I got to quit. That's the reason I stopped straight razor shaving is because it's going to be a money pit that I could never get myself out of. The way I pursue things, which is full on, you know, uh, I just go for it. And so. Anyway, watching those guys, of course, David Gonzalez, you know, there's a lot of very proficient straight razor shavers that make it look very easy. And so those are some, some uh, channels that I really like. So it's Diamond Dave and the Swedish Three. Really good dudes. And they're always talking about the Swedish Witch soap. <laughs> Everybody, we haven't tried that here because obviously it's not as accessible, you know, to us in the United States, but I'm sure it's nice. All right. This is an aggressive razor, I must tell you. But it gets the job done. And the soap, I'm really impressed with. Murphy and McNeil will be a brand you'll be seeing more of on this channel because I think it's a very good soap and that's all there is to it. And really, they won me over with customer service, you know. Kind of reminds me of Sterling. And that, that, you know, they really care and they went out of their way. And who doesn't respect that, you know? Did you all see um, DK's video? Uh, I call him Blackbeard. He, uh, he started his video. I don't know if it was Sunday or Monday. And he said, you know, I'm DK and you are not. And I was like, boy, you're going to get, you're going to get people mad with that. Because remember when I used to do that, they took it totally the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, why am I doing it that way? I'm shaving. Uh, and as DK says, sometimes I get to talking and I forget which pass I'm on. And this is the third final pass and I'm going against the grain here. But anyway, he was talking uh, about that and he opened with that. And I'm like, boy, you're going to make some people unhappy with that. DK and I, I had made a comment on his video. I think Jack from the virtual groom room is moving to uh, Portland. At some point, and I said, do you think Jack's going to become full-on hipster, you know? When Jack moves to Portland, next thing you know, we're going to see a, him uh, shaving with a hemp beanie on, you know, and he'll have a flannel shirt, and uh, <laughs> who, who knows how Jack will be transformed when he moves to Portland. But it could he could go hipster. 
you know? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, obviously, I'm being flipped here. I'm joking. Talked to Jack over the weekend. Nice guy. And he made a video, and uh, he was trying to express the value of uh, budget software. He wasn't crapping on them. And some people took it the wrong way. Their interpretation was other than his intent. And his intent was there's something for everybody and this stuff should not be ignored, more or less. But some people didn't take it that way. And, you know, you're going to have that sometimes. But in talking to him, and I've talked to him for quite some time, he wants to grow the hobby and his heart is in the right place. And so I don't know that he, the way I took it, he was just like, this, this is good stuff that should be used. And... It allows people coming into the hobby to buy two or three. You know, you have more chance of trying multiple things because they're uh, less expensive and they're very good. And so I thought it was positive. But anyway, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get to the boat. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with the Lancaster Razor Works towel. Again, this goes for sale on Saturday, this coming April. I believe it's, what was it, 18th, 12 p.m. I believe that was Eastern. Go check out the details. It's a really good towel. I like it. I did a video on it. Um, go check it out. It just wicks that moisture right off your face and it doesn't leave any uh, any of the material behind. So a lot of people had that question and the answer is no, it doesn't leave material behind. So it's well done. Let's get to the Humphreys. Uh, I wanna tell you something about the Yaki here while I'm putting the Humphreys on. For me, this Yaki Slant is more of a novelty razor. It is one that I use just for the heck of it, just for variety to use a really aggressive eraser, razor. It's not that comfortable. You feel a lot of blade on your face. To me, it's a novelty. It is not something that I would use on a daily basis. Um, it's like, you know, six or seven bucks tops for the head. Um, again, don't, I would not look at this for most people as a smooth shaver that you're gonna use day in, day out. It's a once in a while when I'm looking for just a super aggressive shave sort of razor. Sort of like the R41, but this one I feel brings it even more than R41 for, for whatever it's worth. The Murphy and McNeil Trinity, outstanding. Again, the label, they sent a replacement. Great customer service. I'm buying more from Murphy and McNeil. They're a standout in customer service and their soap is very good. We'll look at it in a minute. Uh, I'm going to slap on the aftershave first. Emperor from Razor Rock, which is the, it's got the sort of Creed Aventus scent, which is quite good. There we go. Nice. I love alcohol in my aftershaves for a couple of reasons. One, I, it just, my skin feels good. I know people don't like it, but it, it works very well for my skin. And two, if I did have a rush shave, you can sort of feel those areas and I've used a lot of this. This is very, you know, inexpensive budget, which I like. And the scent hangs around a little while, which is cool. Okay. Here was our AP Shave Co. Sinbad. Terrific knot. To me, it feels really similar to the cashmere. Um, just as soft, I thought. Let's pull a little bit of the... Oh, that's creamy. Um, again, I lock the focus on this, so you cannot see the quality of the soap, but... Quite slick, no problems at all. Um, there's not a tremendous amount of cushion, but honestly, cushion is not that important. But it is very slick, and that's the primary thing that I think most people want. This is a very good quality soap as far as I'm concerned. This is the Aeon Base. Um, I, I put the ingredients up in the beginning of the video. Um, I like this soap, I'm gonna buy more, that's all there is to it. I have babbled long enough, we're up to 25 minutes, so I gotta shut this thing down. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you'll come back tomorrow for another video, or whenever I put one up. Until then, remember, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.